Aquarians, hey, you know, I'm doing this during this portal and it's 11-11 opening and as I was shuffling, I kid you not, I was shuffling this thing and I got this message and it says full B Ramoon, I don't know if you can even see the text over here. So that's arrival and that's what I'm trying to capture over here. So to send you messages. So it's going to be short and sweet because I have this like short window of opportunity and all this information. So guys also if you are not on my newsletter, uh please go and join in. You can do it by going on my website and on the bottom of the page you can say kind of like join my newsletter or the pop-up is going to job jump up so you can kind of like sign up and and order my annual telescopes because i'm also doing them through this like special transit so going to be lots of messages so in normand and when we're doing upright this reading will be available on my website separately for now it's buried experience Remember December is buried in any other reading you can request it. My uh, steady clients are swearing by it and uh, this grant of law I notice like people are charging between 300 and 500 dollars. It's going to look whoa. Uh, I will not charge this much but I have to tell you it's very draining uh, when you do it because you kind of like have to check all the layers everything that is streaming from above, under, you know, and so on and so forth. So, Aquarians, we are having some people in our life that just don't want to play ball with us, I see over here. Maybe that affected our income over here. Um, maybe this kind of like made us wonder about everything, about mankind, It's, it's kind of like it looks like that we are on some kind of like new path of rediscovery. It can be also esoteric arts. It could be kind of like understanding something that has been hidden. Oh my goodness, this is really looking good over here. But something and somebody will be kicked out of our life. And that's going to be a good thing. It's going to be a person who has been doing damage to us, who have been, you know, gossiping behind our back or doing things behind our back. Also, it looks like, look at that, it could be for some of us a third party situation. And generally, we are not very lucky in this kind of situation because you cannot win if you fight for this person, you cannot win if you don't fight for this person, right? And over here, it looks like that maybe you're dealing with somebody who uh, who is married or somehow otherwise really, really engaged, who does want to move on but can't. Look at this. We see the dating over here and moving on. Why is this crooked? My Aquarius are going to say cat. This is all crooked. But then we have this freaking snake. This is like sitting right in the middle. So there's like somebody who's communicating with us but also with this person and also with you know having their career above everything else or money above everything else and we know how much we love people who are materialistic money is good and this portal is extremely important for setting us up on the new level of abundance and how we perceive abundance and how we reposition kind of like really working through uh, egoless I guess process and I can see that here as well you see they're like issues of the heart the mountain here it's almost mirroring the heart not exactly it's mirroring the crossroads so and the mountain is always talking about the difficulty of proceedings of something it's really hard for us to do but look at this it is knighting the coffin over here which means kind of like we are tired of being tired of having difficulties or having issues of people not being loyal to us or anything that we kind of like touch is kind of turning to dust it's kind of like crap left crap right kind of a thing and guess what we are doing 
We are cracking the whip. We are revisiting certain things from the past. And we are looking at them in a much healthier way. It's interesting where this kite is here cutting the sun. And the sun is in the house of the cross. It almost looks like this is something circular. And it feels like that they're like old patterns and old issues. And this is where I see the lilies. You see, and the lilies is somebody from the past. Maybe this simply means that we have inside of us still something unresolved. Maybe you guys have been in this like three third party relationship where you have been, we have been the third wheel. And there is like a need to release this for us to be healthy. Very important. Look at this. The key of our health is to release it and to kind of like go back to this innocence. I really like this innocence because this is what is really important to know about us Aquarians. We generally are a little bit naive sign, but that is like what is beautiful about us. We are like this Peter Pan. We want to learn different things. If we didn't have, so you win some, you lose some, right? I mean, otherwise you just get an adult and then, hey, you know, I don't like this, I don't like this. But to have this ability to be continuously open and to continuously learning, it comes up with this level of naivete, right? That kind of like goes there. So this is like some new beginning over here. There is like something happening as I'm talking. This portal is going to super important. Look at this. Uh, 6 and 7, 13. And this is a card number 13. I'm a little bit freaked out over here, right? It's a positive energy, guys. It's uh, new things and small objects that are going to be very, very important, right? Uh, so this could be a young person or it could be mean that something new and something is happening. It maybe is going to go in the small increments. Maybe uh, things will get in the way and you will need to claim it. That sometimes happens that we are a little bit of a pushover and other people kind of like tell us what to do. Not so much that we let them, but it is going back to that being naive. So <laughs> I think that's going to change big times next month. <laughs> it's going to say, you go there, you know, stick it where the sun doesn't shine. Kind of like that's going to be one of those things, right? So it's going to be maybe a short-term project, also kind of like sword, but it could be a new love relationship but with someone who you have known for a while. So that goes back to this. Maybe somebody was with someone and you were like, mm, you know what, you figure out your own situation and when you do, call me. And I'm not holding my breath. But to say that took a lot of strength, took a lot of courage to go through this right because check it out the lady is in the house of a child it was a situation where we needed to be reborn and it is still not done it's still going it's still kind of like it's asking us to commit to our own growth it is going forward God, is something something fantastic is going to happen in the in the area of abundance like, I mean, there's like something that has started, maybe some new idea, maybe some new process that is going to resurface within a couple of months again and then is going to start working in a really different way because it's going to be complete clarity. And even when it's not clarity because we have the mountain and the clouds, we will have this goal if we are going toward that. It's going to be that feeling of, oh my gosh, you know, like, I mean, I deserve it. And not because I'm a big ego and look at me, I'm pretty. No, it is, I know I have something to say. I know, because look at this, is our card right next to us. And it's right next to money. It's right to next to something entrepreneurial, which is a key. It's something that is already starting and it's like starting to be in the process. I don't know, maybe for me this means that I should be doing this Lenormand readings. I just do them occasionally, not so much because they are so freaking draining. You tell me, guys. But here, look at this commitment and commitment. And then somebody is crapping on our commitment. And we're saying, I don't think so. Right? And then off you go. No cookie for you kind of a thing. 
And then we are sorting ourselves out, completely are sorting ourselves out, right? The house is here. Um, maybe we have issues literally in our home that maybe something is being uh, kind of like uh, working on it, and that might go away within the next few months, and then the new year is going to start fresh. Still around February, I see that certain things might be kind of like falling in a gap, uh, in some kind of a hole in a ditch. Keep going, though. The bouquet is saying, you're on the right path, this is all good, the clover is here. Like, see, they're on pointers. It's almost like you're driving, you're driving, it's like it's very, very dark. But you see the light there, okay, whew, go there, so you get to that point. You see the light there, whew, go. But all in the middle, there are monsters, and there are issues, and there are like crappy people over here. So there are some loyal people, there are a whole bunch of them, like maybe four people, who are like freaking idiots. You just like really cannot take them anymore. But they are in the, in the card, in the house of crossroads. So this is like needed to deal with that. Because you see the mountain is also, as I said to you, mirroring crossroads. And this is in the card of, in the house of Stork. And Stork generally talks about promotions, um, moving, uh, some relocation or renovation or reinventing yourself, you see, with this key. And it is karmic. And it is already in the process. So self-esteem is being re reinvented over here. How we want people in our life. How do we want to approach, be approached? So if somebody approaches us and within whatever period of time we find out, oh, uh, by the way, I forgot to tell you I'm actually separated. Oh, yeah, I'm separated. And that's why you don't pick up the phone or text in the evening or on weekends. I see. Bye-bye. Um, kind of a thing, it's not, it's going to help us to communicate better, maybe this communication was uh, an issue, but we are putting ourselves on the top, and it's not going to be kind of like any other way of looking at it, our partner has to be our equal, has to be loyal, has to be committed, and it has to be the two of us against the world. Nothing else would work. And we kind of like a getting to the center, to that understanding, to this balance, which is going to be very beneficial. So my dear Aquarians, would love to get your comments. And please don't uh, forget to order your annuals. And until the next time, I wish you all the best. Also check my newsletter to check this annual portal, especially if you are listening and watching this on November 11th or 12th. Okay, love you. All the best.